Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I had a sneezing fit right before starting this episode. My goodness. But yes, we're back. And I decided, I know I mentioned I was going to do either Don't Starve or I was going to do uh, Dragon Age maybe tonight. But I wanted to do something really just, you know, super fun and exciting and energetic. And I was like, you know what? Um, let me begin the introduction live stream of the next Yu-Gi-Oh! game that I'm going to be sharing on this channel. So this is going to be one of the many episodes that I'm going to be sharing on live stream next to recording it as well, right after I'm done with Forbidden Memories with the, the last episode that I need to upload from it tomorrow. So that way we're going to do a finale live stream of it as well next weekend. But yes, I am excited. This game is really something that I've wanted to play for a while now. I never had the chance to play it. So officially, ever since Forbidden Memories, we are diving into Yu-Gi-Oh! games that I have never played before. So this is another one that I've never played before. Now, of course, I did some testing to make sure that this game was going to run smoothly and that, you know, I was going to like it. So um, I went ahead and just created my pa my character. So over here, we can basically see the character. You can actually pick your gender for once, and you can just select... <laughs> I just went with that hair color, because why not? It's blue. Um, I also took the liberty of... Because this is just like uh, UVO World Championship 2008, with Kate, which came right after Spirit Caller where you can program what you're gonna say during a duel. So they added that here as well into this game, which I already programmed what I want to say during each duel. Just something for fun. You say like, if you start a duel, you say, let's do this, or, you know, something like, my turn, draw, and stuff like that. So I took care of that. I also took the liberty of looking at my deck. And I already took out the cards that I'm not going to need, and this is going to be the deck that I'm going to be using. Now, one thing for sure that I want to mention straight off the bat that I love already about this game is the fact that for once, your starting deck is actually not complete trash. Like, look at these monsters. Level, level 3, 1600 attack points. Look at this one, 1800 attack points. It got stuck a little bit there. It's okay now. 1800 attack points monsters. Look at this. All of these monsters are pretty good. Decent defense, 1900. All these cards I completely, from the time that I tested um, the game out, which was a month ago, I don't remember what they do, but we'll learn it as we go along. But it's a, this is one of my level 6 monsters. Um, also, look at these some pretty nice decent trap cards to start the game with they're pretty good and of course i love compulsory evacuation device so the fact that i have it is beautiful and some decent spell cards as well um so yeah like i i already love this game <laughs> um i know i'm gonna enjoy it but there is one thing that I noticed that it's not going to happen with this one, and I'm going to have to get used to it. When I duel, in Spirit Caller, you see the monsters on the field. I don't remember if I see them, but we're going to find that out soon. So... Okay, there are little tiny things. Let me do a little check. Make sure that we're good. This is me starting out this game for the first time. So hopefully it plays well, just like Spirit Caller did. And it should be fine. And it has the same thing, recipes and stuff like that, just like Spirit Caller, so not much has changed there. I also noticed that there's free duel, which of course lets you duel against computers so that you can basically gain cards, gain money, so that you can buy cards from the card shop. One other thing that I noticed from Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008 is that in 2008, your opponents are monster cards. 
So I'm, I'm, I am finding it interesting that they brought that aspect here so that if you want to practice and, you know, get good cards, you can free duel here, which I find very interesting. But of course, we're going to try to just duel as many people as we can at the beginning of this episode. And we're going to see how far we can go. I'm thinking I might do two hours, two and a half hour stops. And we'll see how it goes. So we're ready to start with the story mode. Um, now, for where I left off, um, my character apparently has memory loss. So my character doesn't know much of what has happened. Um, there was a little introduction scene that was missed, but it's fine, just something really quick. So right now, also I'd like to point out that I've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds or any other Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that came after Yu-Gi-Oh! season that came after GX. I watched the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movies, of course, but I never got the chance to really continue with the remaining seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! since GX and, you know, the main classic original season. So I only know a couple of characters of this game, which are Jack, Yusei, and a couple of his friends. So I don't know anything about the story. I remember Spirit Caller followed the story of GX so well. So I'm expecting the same here, and it's going to be pretty fun and new to me because I've never seen the 5D season. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. I was supposed to meet up with Rally, who at first I thought was female, but turns out it's a guy. But yeah, so we're going to have to do our first duel against him, and the more we duel, we're going to remember more about, you know, who we are. Thanks for waiting there. I'm just hoping it behaves with the stream labs and doesn't have any tiny bits of lag or anything like that. Alright, let the battle begin. I do notice a little delay, but yeah. I also like the music of the duel. Music is pretty good. Nice! Alright, we get to go first. Right, I also remember that the dual field looks a little bit different. You still do see the cards down, but they have this layout at the top right here that's a little new. This is where the life points are, the, the phase that you're in. So it, it used to be these bars used to be on the left side of the screen so I need to get used to it not being there but other than that we should be good all right my hand looks pretty good and something else that I noticed they added they add the description of the card immediately on the top screen so that way you don't have to press the button to show it which I find neat all right let's see what we got we have Asian gear knight uh, let's see, it's treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it and have it treated as an effect monster with the following effect. If this card attacks your opponent, cannot activate spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. That's neat. Let's see, Prime Material Dragon is a level 6 monster. Any effect that would inflict damage to a player instead increases their life points by the same amount. When the card's effect to the destroy a monster on the field is activated, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to negate it. Right, I'm sorry to remember what my deck was about based on the cards that they gave me. It's mainly based off of cards where I have to constantly discard a card from my hand to negate an activation of a spell or trap card that's trying to target my monster and it's like a counter effect so I had to get rid of a lot of cards because most of their effects had to do with me discarding a card from my hand and I can't do that for my strategy the calculator level 2 card its attack is equal to the combined levels of all monsters you control by 300 sounds like a card I should play later on alright let's start off with Ancient Gear Knight. Okay, so they still show the card's animation. You just don't see it. 
in the top screen here because of the card details. I kind of missed that, but it's fine. All right, we're gonna have Kunai with chain face down. Honest. Oh yeah, I also have three fusions about synchro summers summons. I have Gaia, the Force of Earth. I need one tuner and one non-tuner monster. And over here I have Magical Android, which is the same one tuner and one that's not. Same thing. So these are my three, basically. I guess you could say in this game there's no fusion summon, but there's synchro summon, so you don't need polymerization, which I find pretty neat. I find it very neat. Alright, so right now we can just get back into the basics. Magical Mallet! Nice! For every card he discards from his hand, he then redraws the same amount after shuffling the deck. Oh, he gets to take a peek at my card. Not bad. You know, basically just the only thing that might be glitchy a little bit, just like with Spur Caller, is the music of the game at times, but so far it's good, it's decent. It's not bad. We have Big Bang Shot at the right time right now. Uh, wow, we, we are looking pretty good here. Uh, but here's the thing. Prime Material Dragon's effect makes it so that any effect that normally would make you inflict damage to someone will end up increasing their life points instead. So I can't use Big Bang Shot when this thing is on the field. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just have fun with Ancient Gear Knight. <laughs> Equip it with Malevolent Nuzzler, and then we use Big Bang Shot. I'm hoping he doesn't destroy my monster because I'm gonna be very sad. But we're going all out. Okay, battle phase. My monster is... Oh god, there's one thing that isn't... The attack is a little unclear, even for me, so hopefully it looks good. Wabuku, okay. That's fine. That's gonna hold me off, no problem. Victory Viper. Interesting. Alright, that's all we can do for now. But yeah, I am enjoy I'm liking this game so far. Come on. Why are you taking so long in your main phase? Jesus. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I need a normal monster so that we can speed this up a little bit. Birthright. It's not a normal monster, sadly. You know what? I might as well use this as bait. I'm gonna put it in defense mode. And Birthright, we can use it for later on. We can bring one normal monster from their graveyard back on the field. Kind of like a Call of the Haunted situation. I have a better idea. I'm gonna activate enemy controller. And I'm gonna gain control of his monster. Oh right, I forgot. I had to tribute a monster on my field to make use of that effect. It's not brain control. Wait, why can't I... Oh, oh well. I guess... I misread that effect. <laughs> 2900 damage though. Boom! You see that? Like, that's... that's I don't... I, look, I, I like the idea behind this, but the fact that this is still gonna stay there when it's damage calculation, the number is going to be shown in this text, which is so messy. It's not, it's not, it doesn't look good. The damage literally came right here, 2900, in this text of the card. So I find, I, I, I like the idea behind what they did here, showing the description of the card, but 
they should remove it during damage calculation because it's just completely a mess when someone does damage to their life points okay over here we have worm like you see this right here as well like look at this I can I can barely properly read the attack and defense it's all the way over here it's a little bit of a mess I liked it better when the card was displayed at least somewhere down here they, they, they could have I honestly like the old layout of spirit caller so that's the only com complaint I have about this game What did I do there? Oh, okay, it wasn't anything. I need to read. What was the effect of this card? When this card is normal summon, change one defense position monster to face of attack position. Oh. See that? It's it's defense is in the card. It, it's the, it's not that clear. Oh my god. So yeah, that's that's my only complaint about this game. Another Wabaku, really? Wow. So yeah. I, I preferred the layout of Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Caller and World Championship 2008 because it was not a mess where they're just squeezing everything together in one screen. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's a 1700 attack points monster. We, uh, we fortunately have Kunai with Chain. So now it's gonna boost my monster's attack by 500. Which means we're gonna destroy that card. See that damage kill? You see that? Why? Why is that there? Why, why isn't it showing when the card got attacked? You know, it changed the screen. It came after in the text. Jesus Christ. Twin Barrel Dragon. All oh, right, this card is cute. When this card is summoned, select one card your opponent controls and you toss a coin like Barrel Dragon and you destroy the selected card. But unfortunately, it's not Barrel Dragon, so it's only when it, when you summon it. That's it. <laughs> so I can try destroying this. Or apparently, I can destroy any card. It's not just a monster. That is actually pretty neat. That's very neat. You see that? Why couldn't it be in that screen? But yeah, anyway, I'm done bitching about that. <laughs> it's just it's so messy. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try not looking at it as much as I can. See, it's showing there. Why does it have to show again? I don't get it. It already showed the damage they received. Why does it have to show twice in the middle of the text? That's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, I like the music of the game. And I, I'm excited about these new cards that I've never really seen before. Let's see, security orb. Activate only when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Change the battle position of that monster. When this face down card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can select a spell or trap card your opponent controls and destroy it. Wow. Nice. Also, it's so unclear how I can see the life points. <laughs> I was like, oh god, is that 100 life points? Alright, so that's it for our first duel! Awesome! That was a blast! Let's duel again sometime! I love the reward system, just like Spirit Caller. Beautiful, 2300 duel points. Wow, you're really good! Unbelievable! It's been a long time since I had such a fun duel. Thanks a lot. That was cool. So anyway, did you remember anything? It seems we do. Do you remember your own name? So you're Ninja? Well, nice to meet you, Ninja. Then that's it. I bet you'll remember other things if you duel some more. 
Well, my friends and I always hang out in a place that's not too far from here. If you go to the south, you'll find a subway. That's where we always meet up. I wish I could show you myself, but I got something to do now. But don't worry about it, okay? I'm sure they'll let you in. They're all good guys, you know. You just need to say my name. I'll be back soon anyway, so I'll introduce you to everyone at that time. And maybe you should do a little while you're waiting for me. Well, okay then. See you later. Old Domino City. Now a rundown junk town known as Satellite. Without a trace of memory, you awaken in the back of a ghetto alleyway. This slum is home to bums and criminals who exiled from the city bear an inscription called a marker on their faces. It is then you notice there is a dual disc attached to your left arm, indicating that you are in fact a dualist. In days ahead, what kind of destiny awaits you? Have you ever played dual monsters before? Yes. In this world, you will find three types of duels, each which is conducted in a different manner. By mastering duels of varying styles, you'll be able to develop your talents as a duelist. Well, there you have it. Now, please enjoy your journey in 5D story mode. Oh, they're so nice. I like the mini map, and I also like that you can control your character. Alright, so he said go to the south. Now, I know there's a big city. I think the subway is down here to the south, yeah. Nervin. Hmm, I've never seen you before. So what do you want with us? Only our friends are allowed to enter the subway, you know. Huh? Rally? What about him? Uh, he said he'd introduce everyone later, so we should just let you in first? Well, I don't know you at all, so no matter what you say, I'm not buying it. If you understand what I'm saying, you better leave. No matter what, you can't come in. Oh? Hey, wait a second. Is that a dual disc you're carrying? It was just getting boring around here anyway, so why don't we have a duel then? Alright, if you beat me, then I'll believe the story you just told me. That sounds fair. Got you in the mood, eh? Let's go then. Let's do it! I like the music, it's very catchy. These Yu-Gi-Oh games have always had the best the best music every time. Amazing. Okay, oh god, look at my hand. <laughs> Whoa! That's not a pushover card. I hope I did the right thing by going to him immediately and not dueling around. Big Bang Shot. Juttle Fighter. Once per turn, you can change one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls to face-up defense position. I mean... It has 1000 defense. If I equip it with Big Bang Shot, I can destroy it. Counter, counter. Negate the activation of a counter trap card and destroy it. Okay, not bad. I'm, I'm pretty well protected and I can... I can make this work. Let's summon Juttle Fighter. Yes, let's activate its effect. Change Battle Ox to defense position so that we can destroy it. And he's gonna lose 100 life points. <laughs> Yeah, I had I started with a little tricky hand this duel, but see that? That's perfect. I don't know why the life point should be shown anymore. Okay, I'm done, I swear I promise. I promise I'm done. <laughs> it's just it's so cringy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Alligator sword. Hey, still got the cinematic for alligator sword from Spirit Caller. Alright, let's send that card back. I hope I draw a good monster because I started pretty rough. Worm Apocalypse. Destroy one spell or trap card. Oh my goodness. 
Well, I guess I don't need this tornado for now. Uh, I'm gonna have to flip this card in defense mode then. This is a rocky start and he's not a pushover. Let me take a sip of my water. Oh good, he attacked that one, perfect. Now I got to destroy one of his face down spell or trap cards. It was a spell card. Oh, Dust Tornado is going to destroy that one. Uh, let me see, what is that card? Share the pain. Tribute one monster on your side of the field. Your opponent must tribute one monster on their side of the field. Oh, thank God, I already have a lack of monsters on my field. Excuse me. Okay, let's get rid of that. Hmm. Okay, can I draw one of my monsters, please? Uh, uh, <sighs> okay, well, the bad thing is, this is not brain control, so if I attribute one of my monsters to control his monster, next turn I'm open for direct attack. So I can use this to protect me. Change the battle position of one face-up monster your opponent controls. Well, hang on. How much at 1200? No, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, I forgot! Oh, if it was strong enough, I would have made use of its effect. I forgot it's once per turn I could keep doing this. Okay, I have a little bit of a protection, but this is not a good start. Oh my god. Why did I duel him first before practicing with other people and buying more cards? Parrot Dragon. Oh my. Let's activate enemy controller. Change his battle position, please. Thank you very much. Okay, seriously. One of my... Any one of my monsters will do, please. Shield Crush. Select one of the best position monster on the field and destroy it. <gasps> oh, perfect timing! Okay, okay, my deck is trying to help me out here. Bye-bye, Parrot Dragon. Uh, do I flip it as the question? I, I kind of want to be safe. My deck is trying to help me, but until I get a monster, I don't want to risk losing life points for something stupid. Jar of Greed. Okay, he draws one card. Headless Knight, 1450. Alright, I really need to draw something. Any, any of my monsters will do. <laughs> Come on. Gigantic. <laughs> well, hello, Jenny. Damn it, I want pizza now. This card gains 200 attack each time a plant monster is sent from the field to the graveyard. I don't mind that effect. I'm just happy that I got a monster with a decent attack point. Okay, we're back in business. Alright. My deck was trying to help me, considering it made me start strange, but okay, that's good. Let me check, make sure things are running good. Oh, things are running good. Okay. Streamlabs has been behaving. I like it. Did it just bring back Parrot Dragon? Oh my god, no. This is bad. This is bad. I shouldn't have dueled him yet. Then again, I could have won if... Oh god, he brought it back. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it to have it treated as an effect monster. Okay. One time only, you can place one spell counter on this card. This card gains 300 attack for each spell counter you put on it. Oh! You can then remove one spell counter to destroy one monster on the field. Oh my god! The clutch! 
Holy... Wow! Hey, wait a minute. I normal summoned it. What? What? What's it? Why? Why isn't its effect working? This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it to have it treated as an effect monster with the following effect. One time only, you can play this spell. Wait, but that didn't work though. Why didn't it work? Why do you have an effect and it doesn't work? What? You confuse me. <laughs> I'm still in a predicament because that effect did not work. Like, what the f- What is that? Its effect didn't work! Are you serious? Oh man, I'm still in a rough spot now because its effect didn't work. The fuck is the point? <laughs> Jeez, him bringing back that card and the fact that I started the duel with barely any monsters is bad right now for me. I might lose this duel. Oh, now my monsters are coming when it's too late? Jesus. I don't know why that effect did not work. It said you can normal summon it and then it's treated as an effect card. But its effect didn't work. Oh man. That was just bad luck. <laughs> That's just bad luck right there. I would have won this. I can still come back, but who knows? Okay, that's a good sign. No other monsters to deal with. That's the thing, I don't know! It didn't do anything! It's just, it's just sitting there now. Just, it's just chilling there. For no reason, like what? It, none of its effects actually worked, and now I, I drew this stupid retarded card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that... Never mind, it's not that retarded. I just hope he doesn't draw any monsters right now and I should be fine. That's so dumb! Yes, okay, stalling. My deck is still trying to help me. The start was, of the duel was terrible, though. Wait, was that... Oh, a lucky Iron X? Oh god. Come on! Yeah, a level 6 monster would... Oh! Oh well, uh, this will help me later. Oh god, if he summons any normal monster right now that's be below 1900... I'm gonna be in trouble. Mm. Oh no, he did it! I'm gonna lose this duel. <laughs> That's so shitty! I blame that card. I blame that card completely. That's just terrible. Its effect never once worked. Half the attack of one face of monster and add the same amount to the attack of another face of monster until the end of this turn. Okay. Not gonna help at all. <laughs> that sucks. Well, that's my second duel of the game. Cosmo Queen? Oh, he definitely has no pushover. I still, I still could've won though. Damn, the music's good though! Damn, she has a big head. Nice card! Nice card. Damn, I had such a shitty start, oh my god. My deck has potential. Then again, you know. 
Well, you're nothing special. A loss is a loss, right? So you'd better just give up and go home. I'll be back. Kind of want to reduel him right now, but let me beat some idiots. Get some. Is he moving me? What's that? Did I just find a dust tornado lying around? Oh my god. Duel me! You think I'd go up against a brat like you? Think again. Rude! I'm gonna come back and kick your ass. Pretty much. Ye oh god, my tank of dueling spirit is all filled up. Giddy up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, can I not have a start like I did just now, please, and we'll be fine. We gotta farm. We gotta farm dual points. Go to the card shop and kick that guy's ass. Ooh, new music. What the fuck is this start? Okay, better. Okay, okay, much better. Jeez! I had almost the same exact cards. Alright, Twin Barrel Dragon, beautiful. Kunai with Chain, Big Bang Shot. Alright, much better start. I can do something with this. Alright, let's get X Saber on the field. When this card att attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 300 attack during a damage step. This is just like Steamroid. But when it's attacked, it loses 500. Yeah, I, I, I don't want that. That they, this card is literally so close to Steamroid. There, nothing can stop it now. <laughs> that was just a. I could have beaten that guy. Oh no, my card! Can I counter it? I'll use this as bait. The what? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on! What the f <laughs> What happened to my car? When this card is chosen as a target of an attack... Wait a minute! What? The uh... Oh, you know, I never knew that effect of Big Bang Shot. I don't know if it's a new thing for this game, but I never knew it, knew about that. And I've used Big Bang Shot a lot. When it's removed from the field, the equipped monster is removed from play. That's that wasn't there before. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's such bullshit. That was not in there. Seriously. They added that just to fuck with people. <laughs> okay, 500 life points, destroy one face up spell or trap card. Mm, nothing is face up at the moment. Psychic tuner. Oh, I can get a. I can synchro summon something. It's a psychic tuner, it just needs a non tuner type, and I can synchro summon something. Okay, uh, let's get Twin Barrel Dragon on the field, and I'm gonna, de I'm gonna hopefully destroy that monster. Did that work? No. Well, crap. Oh no, are you serious? 2100. Oh man, that big bang shot ruined everything. <laughs> what is this shit luck I'm having right now? This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard and inflicts 400 points of damage. When this card is selected as an attack target, you can pay 800 life points to negate the attack. Huh. Uh, 
Well, I do have a plan for it. So... I wouldn't mind if I can get this one of my synchro summons out. Jesus, I, I better not lose this duel because of shit luck. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> What? They have a boost? Huh. Okay. Oh! Wow, I need to go to the card shop. This is definitely a new experience compared to all the other Yu-Gi-Oh games I've played. Even the pushovers have better cards than me, even though I actually have a decent deck for once. Oh, he synchro summoned. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> I can't duel any of these people. What the fuck is this? Wow. I eh, might as well have fun with it. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> Third duel of story mode. Lost because of shit luck again. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. That card was boosting all the cards on his field. How interesting. Yeah, I'm spending my dual points to buy card packs. Fuck that. Alright, once again, my dueling spirit is on fire. Sure, buddy, sure. Do you have a good deck too, or... Can I actually beat you? Huh? Are you saying duel me? Oh, you're on. Just bring it. My god, I gotta change my luck. Jeez. First duel went by so great. And then the other two happened. Come on, give me a better start, please. Oh, look, it's that card that's. That doesn't even work. Fairy Gemini. Card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it. See, that explanation doesn't make sense. While it's on the field, you can normal summon it. It's already on the fucking field! And when you do that, you can have it treated as an effect monster with the following effect. Which would have been handy two duels ago. So, this card doesn't fucking work. Destruction Jammer, discard one card, negate the activation of a spell or trap card or effect. It destroys monsters on the field. Oh, okay. Not bad. Ghost Gardener. When a face of monster you control is selected as an attack target, you can change the target to this card. Nice! When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, face up monsters your opponent controls loses 1000 attack until the end phase. Now that is a nice card. Nice card. Check for a second because two duels in a row I used the equip spell card and then ended up being destroyed. I'ma wait. I'ma wait. Dust Tornado, I'ma destroy that card. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it was Book of Life or Book of the Moon, I think that Oh look at that, okay. Alright. When a face of monster you control is like this attack target. 
Well, this card has to be has to already have been attacked, so let's just put it here. And I'm gonna risk using Big Bang Shot. I swear to God, if they destroy it, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Because I'll take it out of my deck. Like, it's terrible. 800 defense? Alright, that's good. Still cringe looking at that damage number in the middle of the card description. <laughs> Why is it there? Okay, good sign. I don't know why these guys, they programmed them to take a little bit when they're choosing what card to use, but okay. Okay, let's use X-Saber. Equip it with Malevolent Nuzzler so that we can destroy this bitch. Okay, finally we have a good start because again like honestly out of all the decks oh he decreased my attack interesting effect and my cards attack is now decreased wow all right but yeah this was a really good this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh game to give a good deck at the beginning but just need luck drawing the right cards. But I like it. This game is not a pushover at the beginning. With its opponents that it gives you. Ah, this card. Well, it's gonna work later on. So I can't use its effect right now. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, nice damage. 1500. No, my card! I have that card. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Okay. We had the good start this time. I want to go against that guy again and kick his ass while stucking up on dual points. Why you? How dare you embarrass me like this? This won't ever happen again. You remember that? Here, I've got something for you. Just take it. You gonna you gonna give me a card? Oh, oh my God! Worm Queen. That that looks like a level eight card. That looked like a level 8 card. What is that? Oh, I, oh right, I have two dust tornadoes. I can use this to replace one of my cards. Where is that card? Worm Queen, level 8, 2700 attack points. You can tribute summon this card in face up attack position by attributing one reptile type worm monster. Oh, well, I don't have many reptiles. It's a situational card, I guess. Okay, let me get rid of. Because I have two dust tornadoes, so I can get rid of Twister. Because Dust Tornado does what it does for free. Okay. Let's see if I can find that guy again. I want revenge!
I better get a good start. Oh, it's beautiful. Now that's a much better start. Jesus, so much better. Soul Taker, destroy one face of monster your opponent controls, then your opponent gains 1,000 life points. Why? <laughs> I don't want him to get 1,000 life points. I guess if it's an emergency. Okay, let's see. 1600. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, except when destroyed by a battle, special summon one oyster token. Eh, okay. Toon Warrior. So any monster with this can get a synchro summon going. These two can synchro summon together. Um, let me place this face down just in case. If it gets attacked, it loses 500 attack points. That's the bad part. So I'm gonna have to use enemy controller to protect it until I get the synchro summon going. <gasps> Why? Why must you do this? <laughs> 1600, 1600. Never mind. It's gonna kill me, but then it's gonna get destroyed. My god! Why are these pushover people with such rare cards? This guy started with Heavy Storm, what the fuck is this shit? Jesus! A huge upgrade from Spirit Caller. 1800. I'm scared to even attack now. My god. Okay, let's give it a try. Bottomless trap hole. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm learning so much from this game. No matter how good my deck looks compared to previous Yu-Gi-Oh games at the beginning, my opponent still makes sure that my deck looks like ass. Kunai with chain. Okay. Jeez. Now of course this has to be with one or okay, it doesn't matter. Alright. Uh kinda have to attack because sooner or later he's going to sacrifice. What the This card cannot be destroyed by battle. While this card is in face of defense position, you receive 1,000 points of damage during each of- Oh, that's good! <laughs> you take that 1,000 points of damage. Serves you right. Why do they take so long? Also, why didn't he lose 1,000 points of damage? What is going on with this game? <laughs> Effects? Oh, now it's... okay. I was gonna say... Okay, this is a good card as well. Alright, so now... I think I can Synchro Summon. Yeah! Our first Synchro Summon! We can get Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth. 2600 attack points. Nice! Yeah! Oh god, requirements. I'm glad it, the levels were perfect. And I can get a copy on the field. Because it went... So this can help me, I guess. Stall. <laughs> Alright, I got Kunai with Chain. This card can, can be destroyed as a result of battle, so I'm gonna have to activate this. He's gonna get the 1000 life points he lost just now, which is fine. Oh, he discards a card to negate the activation. That's the card I have. Wow. Well, I guess this card is gonna stay on the field. <laughs> Jesus. Um, 
Well, I guess that's the end of this turn. Jesus, just when you think you get a chance, they still have some some way to keep you down. Interesting game. Why are you taking so long? God! <laughs> Alright. Ah, perfect! Yes, lose 1000 life points, no problem. This card is perfect right now. I can destroy one face down card on the field. Aww! I mistook it for one of the other monarchs. I can destroy a monster. Now I have two strong cards on the field and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> you know what sucks? <laughs> this. There's no face down card on the field but mine and now mine have to be destroyed. That's so stupid. I'm gonna I'm not gonna need Kunai with chain anymore. That's retarded. <laughs> so now I have to just this card is like marshmallow, but he loses 1000 life points. So I guess that kind of helps progress the duel. So I need to destroy that card. I lose 1000 again. Either way, he's gonna lose in five turns. Oh, it's the card that never works. Let me see if, if, if its effect gets triggered when it's face down. You, maybe that's the thing. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Is that... Is that another copy? Okay! Never mind, it's not 5 turns anymore. He's gonna lose 2,000 life points for every standby phase of mine. <laughs> okay, I don't mind. I was gonna win the duel without those two cards on the field. Look at my monsters. I was gonna win anyway, so... Eh. Two turns. Why does he take so long to end his turn? I don't like this. Compulsory evacuation device, you are way too late. Well, hey, at least I got a revenge victory against him. I'll never duel him again. Come on. Hurry up! My god! What is this shit? Why? Who thought it was a good idea to put this into the game? <laughs> How does it feel to get to lose a duel because of your own monsters? <laughs> you asshole. Nowhere did it say your effect will get activated if you place it face down. You said, I can normal summon it. And then while it's on the field, I can use its effect. You bitch. I hate that card. Alright, I can somehow still finish the duel. I can remove the counter to destroy one card on the field. And then I'll activate compulsory evacuation device. And then still be able to destroy his ass with my own monster. Alright, so now we got the hang of that. I just I, I just hate that I have to place this card in defense mode. It has 1,000 defense for its effect to work. It's stupid. And nowhere does it say you have to do that. It's so unclear. Alright, revenge is mine. All oh, these dual points. I wonder if it's the same. He gave me 500. Oh my god. That's when you know he was difficult. Uh oh, I'm burned out. My dueling spirit gave up the ghost. Okay, does this dude want to duel me now? 
Ah, no, I guess later on I'll kick his butt. Okay, let me check something. Return to title screen. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. I gotta save first. I have a good amount of dual points. I want to know if it's the same 150 dual points per card pack like Spirit Caller because if so, I can buy a good amount of packs right now. Do -do -do -do. Let's see. Yeah! Wow, that's so good! Four card packs, Dark Revelation Volume 2, card pack for intermediate and advanced players, second edition, and this is the first edition. Well, I, I might as well buy for the beginners first, but I want to start with the intermediate one just in case it gives better cards. But 150 dual points per card pack, that's actually a lot of new good cards. We're buying five from you. Five from you. Three from you and three from you. <laughs> I like that noise. Okay, let's see what we got. Twin Mermaid. Reign of Mercy. United We Stand? Oh. What's this? Bombardment Beetle. Pick up and see one face down defense position monster card on your opponent's side of the field. If it is an effect monster, destroy it. Its fifth effect is not activated. And if the card is not, return it to the original position. So this is like D spell, but for effect monsters. And if it is an effect monster, you can destroy it. Not bad, considering a lot of these guys that I've dueled have face down effect monsters whose effects are kind of annoying. I'll use this. And I'll definitely use this. Next. Rising Air Current, Honey Honey, Yumi, Mystic Tomato. Nice! Honey Honey is always good to have. Nice, nice, nice. Really good. I'm liking this pack already. Feral Imp, Dancing Fairy, Guided Dragon Champion. Oh, so there's still fusion monsters in this game. Okay. As long as th this card is pretty good to have right now, as long as it remains face up in defense position, though, I gain 1,000 life points. It needs to be in defense position. I'm gonna just use it for its attack. Jirai Gumo, Fusion Gate, Dragon Manipulator. Take control of one face up dragon monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Ordeal of a Traveler, that is a nice card to have to protect my life points and my monsters. Nice cards. I'm taking this. Jirai Gumo is very risky to have. If I have it in my deck, it's only there to make sure that my opponents don't destroy my life points. I'll, it's just going to be one of those cards that I'm going to keep on the field like, Hi, if you destroy this, you can get to my life points. I might put it in my deck. Next! Spirit Message L, Block Attack, Morphing Jar. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Spirit. Mm -mm. Remove from play any number of monster cards in your graveyard to destroy one face of monster on the field whose level is equal. No, I don't like situational trap cards. Uh, bottomless trap hole and Yamada Dragon. Nice, good cards, good cards. I mean, can I put this in my deck or does it go back to my hand? This card, it cannot be special summoned. This card returns to its owner's hand. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Interesting effect, but no. Ooh! Is that Swift Gaia the Fierce Knight? Yeah, it is! If this card is only is the only card in your hand, you can normal summon it. Oh my god, that is so nice. I kind of want it. <laughs> Vengeful Bog Spirit. No monsters on the field can attack during the same turn that they are normal summoned, flip summoned, or special summoned. Nice card, but it applies to me too. Okay, next. We're getting some good cards here. I'm getting a nice Destiny board, board setup. <laughs> Dark Scorpion Burglars. Nah. Amazonist Tiger. Amazon. Ooh, X Hat Cannon! Yeah! <laughs> it seems fun. 1800 It seems pretty simple honestly cuz any card in your deck can work together to make the to the the summon happen and honestly I don't make use of fusion summons that much so it's like a free fusion summon without needing fusion gate or anything like that you can just synchro summon and then you get the card on the field but my opponent can do the same thing, which does suck. Interesting challenge, though. <laughs> Amazon is Tiger. Uh, if, oh no, I need an Amazon to increase its attack points. That's a Union card. X Head Cannon. I'll take it. Next. Oh, tribe infecting virus. Interesting card to have just because of its attack points and effect for now. I'll take it. Another big bang shot. Yeah. No. Uh nope. Two thousand. Kiryu, once per turn during your main phase, if you control this card on the field, you can equip it to your Dark Blade. Oh, that's the Union card for Dark Blade. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Stumbling. Any monster that is normal summon, flip summer, or... Oh no, I hate that card. Ugh. Optic Camouflage Armor, nah. Fiend's Hand Mirror, nah. The Agent of Judgment, Saturn. While your life points are higher than your opponent's, you can tribute this card to inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference. If you do not, nah, 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 nah. Gigantes. Oh, This card cannot be normal summoned. I have to tribute an earth monster. Remove it from play. When this card is destroyed by battle, destroy one spell or trap. All spell and trap cards on the field. Oh god, no, 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 no. That can backfire terribly on me. Dark magic attack, situational to dark magician. Oh, Kaiser, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness! Yeah, we're getting some good monsters here, good. Nice, 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 nice. Decent attack points monsters, that's what we need. Backfire, fire type related monster. Okay, not bad, not bad. I have enough dual points to spend. Oh wait, there was... Oh, there was one more card, oops. Another Gigantes, Berserk Gorilla. If this card is face-up defense position on the field, destroy this card. 
nice monster card. Control of this card must attack with this card if possible. So I have to attack with this card if possible. No problem, I mean, 2,000 attack points. Pretty good. Okay, 6%, 11, 7. So this is the union type. Two here. Two here. Alright. Give to the Gaia Power. Buster Blader. Oh, Buster Blader. I love Buster Blader. Hysteric Fairy, Celtic Guardian. Giant Rat, awesome! We're getting some good cards here. Nice. Good good monster cards that I can put in my deck right now. What is that thing? Dark Geroid. When this card is summoned, select one face of monster on the field. It loses 800 attack points. Oh! Situational, but it can help me out. I'll see if I have room for it. Oh, Chaos Command Magician. Negate the effect of a monster card that targets this card. Not bad. I can replace this with the the Rock Monarch. Since it affects my cards if there's nothing on the field. I don't like that. Okay! Not bad. Not bad at all. Good amount of card packs. I have no idea what my turbo deck is about, but yeah. Okay! I'm keeping some tuner cards, but the non-tuner cards that are not strong, I'm getting rid of. Uh, let's see, this I'm taking away, and I'm replacing with Buster Blader. Two Le Trunk. You two. Two Le Trunk. Once per turn you could change one monster- no, you're two- no, I'm replacing you with something better. Uh, Tuner, when this card is selected as an attack target, you can pay 800 life points to negate the attack. I'll keep you because you're Tuner. Fish. When it's pressed into the graveyard, buy. Prime Material Dragon. Right, you're an extra strong card that I don't need. Buy. Psychic Tuner. Sonic Chick. Cannot be destroyed by a monster that's 1900 or more. Too situational, you're too weak. Buy. Buy. You're staying. Because I like your effect. Okay, when this card is normal summon, change one defense position monster to face up attack position. Eh. Destroy one spell or trap card. Honestly, I have Dust Tornado and I have a couple of monsters that will, that will do the same, so bye. Okay, so I have room for 10 new monsters. Which is perfect. Alright, let us sort the cards based on new. And we're gonna change the layout like this so we can go faster through it. Okay. We got Kaiser Seahorse. I mean, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Boom. X Head Cannon. Boom. Oh, Amazonas Fighter is actually nice. All battle damage to this card's controller will be zero. Oh, wait, no. I mistook it for one of the other Amazons that makes the battle damage become to them instead of me. Uh, this was the situational card that can help me. Uh, I can use Chaos Command Magician, sure. Buster Blader! Oh wait, no. I want Swift Gaia the Fierce Knight. Ah, it's fine. Uh, Berserk Gorilla. I have enough earth. No, 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 right. Honey, honey. Historic fairy. Dragumo to inflict fear in the hearts of mortal men. 
2300. I, I have a rule, I don't want more than two monsters that require two tributes to be summoned in my deck. I would take two level six monsters before I try doing that. Uh, yeah, no, no. It's good the way it is. The monst the new monsters that I got, perfect. Much better. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the new spell cards. I don't know if there was one that I needed. Mm. Pay fifteen hundred. No, my God. Uh, no, I didn't need any spell card really. Oh yeah, United We Stand. How could I? How could I? Uh, yeah. Stumbling. No, no. Okay. And trap card. I I had bottomless trap hole. Um, ordeal of a traveler, and I think that was it. Oh wait, no, there's. Yep. Okay, that's it. Okay, so what spell card am I gonna win? Cup of Ace. Heads draw two cards. Tails. Your opponent draws two cards. Uh, I mean. That can be terrible. I prefer keeping Malevolent Nuzzler instead of Big Bang Shot, knowing that these people constantly destroy my spell cards. This will remove from play my monster. I don't like it. Besides, I have Fairy Meteor Crush apparently, so it still does the same thing. Uh, Shield Crush is situational, but it can help me. Just like this one, half the attack of one face of monster and add the same amount to the attack of another face of monster which I can use to benefit my monster on the field. For now I have a bunch of trap cards because the spell cards are whack. Uh, let's see which one do I get rid of? Your Activate only when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Change the battle position of that monster. Kunai with chain does that. Enemy controller does that. Get rid of that. Activate only during damage calculation during your opponent's turn. The battle damage. So this is another wobble coup basically. I'll keep it. Discard one card, negate the activation of a spell, trap card, or monster effect that destroys a monster on the field and destroy that card. Too situational, my friend. Too situational. Alright, this is good. We're keeping this for now. Okay. Much better. Much better. Here we go. Now, of course, they give free duel to help you out. You can duel monsters. Okay. Here we go. Back to the story mode. We have bought a shit ton of cards. Let's make sure things are good. Yeah, things are good. Alright. Streamlabs is behaving, I'm happy. Oh, one thing though, I have enough. I kept all my tuner monsters. One, two. Three, yeah, three tuner monsters for now. Yeah. Ugh, oh, my deck is so much better. No matter how I start, this can help me now. So I can honestly beat that guy again. I can beat this guy now. You came back again? Well, no matter how many times you try, it's all gonna end up the same. We'll see about that. Because I started really bad that duel. And now I have better cards that can protect my life points, so bring it. Bring it! 
Now I gotta do some bait because these people like to destroy spell and trap cards. I can bait with Dust Tornado, for example. Okay, Twin Barrel Dragon, Ryoku, okay, X Saber. Ugh, risky card, at some point I'll get rid of it. Uh, normal monster. I don't have any normal monsters at the moment. <laughs> Alright, we're baiting with this. Security Orb, activate only, declare an attack. Alright, not bad. Let's get this on the field. X Saber. Hi Shock, how are you doing? We are starting a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> One I've never played before. So far it's much harder than Spirit Color. Oh, Lucky Iron X, he's gonna lose that card. Let's see. Oh, and Fairy Meteor Crush. Oh my god. Use everything on it, please. <laughs> Whoa! Your deck! You were not kidding! His deck is called Equip! He is not kidding! Alright, I'm gonna flip his monster to defense mode. <laughs> no, 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 I... Yeah, I, I, I wasn't gonna get back on Twitch until next week, probably, next weekend. I'm gonna be on YouTube for now. Yeah, pretty much. My weekend stream schedule is still the same where I start at 9pm Eastern Time. <laughs> Alright, we have Dark Valkyra. We also have Twin Barrel Dragon. There are so many ways that we can play this right now. Let's start with the coin toss. We call it right, all that all of that's gonna get destroyed. No, that's that's the thing. Like I never said I was gonna quit YouTube. I, I was gonna still stay there because I I found out, you know, how things were gonna be with the whole COPPA thing and it's not gonna affect me at all. And that was a good coin toss. Beautiful. This is a perfect revenge duel. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, th like that's the thing with him as well. I told him it's not gonna affect him that much, but he is family friendly, so he is gonna lose the the extra profits. But other than and the comment section, I guess. But it depends on if he's still gonna stay family friendly with his gameplay and stuff. So that's the thing. If he is, and they find out that he should be family friendly, then yeah, he's gonna lose comment section, live stream chats, and all of that. Oh no, my card! Magic Jammer. Dark Valkyra. I think I can get Dark Valkyra going. I can just summon it at this point. I'm gonna drain his monster's attack and give it to my own monster. I'll increase Twin Barrel Dragon. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they continue going well though. Oh, that's a nice boost. 1700 damage. Yeah. All I had to do was buy new cards that can secure my life points. You got nothing with your equip spell cards. Get out of here. <laughs> he was talking trash. I'll put Magic Jammer just in case. Oh, you also had a two week break from streaming? I guess we're all having breaks from streaming. Starman also had like a week break from streaming. Alright, awesome. Hope it goes well. Fossil Tosker. We're gonna destroy that face down card with it to make him lose 400 life points. 
as its effect. Boom! Alright. Yeah, my deck is so much better now. Awesome. <laughs> Revenge feels great. Oh, nice. Aw, oh, rats, you got me. Okay then, I'll believe that you actually know Rally. And there he is. Hey, Nervin! Ah, oh, you guys were dueling, weren't you? Well, we're talking about a stranger here. I thought I'd drive him off, but he's pretty strong. What do you mean, he? I'm a female! Rude! This game adds the gender switch, and it's still saying I'm a guy! Rude! Oh my god. Apparently I'm still a guy even though I'm a woman. <laughs> In the game itself with the option of you can be a woman. <laughs> god, this game sucks. With certain things when it comes to detail. Yeah, I know what you mean. We've got a real duelist on our hands. So Nervin, let me introduce you. This is Ninja. We just met a little while ago. And Ninja, this, is, this here is Nervin. He's one of my best friends. Well, he's an asshole, for one. But yeah. Sorry for doubting you back there. Well, Ninja, it's good to meet you. Say, Nervin, I think Ninja has amnesia or something. Isn't there anything we can do to help? Amnesia, huh? You mean like you can't remember things from the past? Whoa, that's a tough one. Yeah, Ninja's name only came back when we dueled a little while ago. But besides the name, we don't know anything else except... That ninja is a duelist with a whole lot of skill. So a duel brought back ninja's name? I wonder then if dueling me also helped bringing something back. Or really? Nothing at all? Uh, it's alright. I bet it'll come back soon enough. Well, I better introduce ninja to the rest of the gang. Come with me, ninja. Alright. I'm gonna save the game first, though. Gotta save all the time, because progress. And just like that, my deck is back on track. Beautiful things. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I hope you can get it again, or can make a, a one that's similar to it. Hey, Rally! Huh? Who's that? Tank and Blitz! I remember him. Good timing. This is Ninja. We just met. Did Nervin let her? Oh, now it's her. Okay, they fixed it. Did Nervin let her in? The game heard me. Of course. That's okay then. I'm Blitz. Good to meet you. I'm Tank. Ninja's a duelist. A duelist, eh? How about a duel with me? Hey, I was just going to challenge her. Alright then, I'm after Tank. That's a promise. Oh god, back to back duels. Awesome. Since that's settled, I guess I'll go ahead and watch. Good luck, Ninja! Yeah, pretty much. Sometimes when that happens, you can just use that as an opportunity to see if you can make something better. Alright, let's duel. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Woo! Total effect. Oh god, do you have effect monsters in your deck? Also, I seem to be getting lucky with the with the rock, paper, scissors. I'm constantly getting rock and they're constantly getting scissors. Nice hand. Nice hand. Dark Jeroid, I can use this for an emergency situation. Gigantic. This card gains 200 attack for each plant monster. Ah, then sent to the graveyard. Okay. Alright, let's get this on the field. 1850. I like it. <laughs> Shady Gamer. You want to change your name? Oh god, my card's gonna get destroyed. How sad. 
they're still starting like that, I see. Oh, my life wants to save. You want your nickname to be Shady Gamer? That's a little bit confusing. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Shock, because <laughs> it's like so many different names to address you. Alright, let's destroy that card just in case. Could be something dangerous. What was that card? Spell Shattering Arrow. Destroy all face-up spell cards your opponent controls. For each destroyed spell card, inflict 500 points of damage. Oh! Bottomless Trap Hole! Nice! Alright. Let's get Twin Battle Dragon on the field to make use of its coin toss ability. Um, no. No, I'm not sure. Whenever I happen to be on, I'm not sure that it's still there after I, f I look it up. Oh, nice! Success! Direct damage! Beautiful! Oh, Thunder Dragons! But he doesn't have the fusion for Twin Head Thunder Dragon, hopefully. That's gonna be bad, <laughs> if he does. Okay, so the field is free for our direct attack. We're gonna activate... I'm gonna put Honey Honey. If he does have Twin Head Thunder Dragon, I have Bottomless Trap Hole to destroy it, so that's a good thing. Alright, I am loving this deck so far. Nice upgrades. He doesn't have any monsters, apparently. That's pretty... Oh, and I'm not getting any monsters. Alright, I guess I'm summoning this card. Wait, no, this is going to... This is gonna affect my card. Whenever a monster card has an effect where it goes... Select one face-up card on the field, it's gonna go for me. Yeah, I, I said I was gonna do it, but then I'm gonna. I felt like just doing this tonight and leaving Dragon Age for Tuesday. Hopefully, kind of wanted to do something that doesn't require too much focus right now. Dragon Age is one of those games where you need a little bit of focus. So I think next Tuesday I should be able to stream it or see if it works. I still need to test out and see if it works. But I'll definitely try that out. Um, I'll do a little test sometime this weekend to see if it's going to work. And then that'll determine if I'll be able to stream it at all. Okay, so this guy doesn't have that many strong cards. Reinforcements. Okay, I'm activating Fairy Meteor Crush. That way I can do some more damage. And since it's save, I can use Honey Honey's effect. I'm not sure if I played Sims 3 or 4, but yeah, I like the Sims games. It's been years since I was able to play them though. But yeah, they're very fun games. Damage calculation, beautiful. Alright. Let's see. 450. Alright, next turn he's done. Boom! Yeah, this deck is much better. I'm feeling so much 
secure now. Going against the other people. Time wizard. Oh no. Oh god, I hope it doesn't work out. No! My card! Wait, I don't remember Time Wizard destroying cards. I always thought it would... Oh. That's fine, I can beat him next turn anyway, I think. The Luck of Time Wizard. Ah, oh, perfect! Berserk Gorilla. Awesome. 2,000 attack points. That ought to finish the game. Oh, awesome! Well, too bad I don't have my PlayStation 4, <laughs> or else I'd so, ch I'd, I'd so check it out. Would be fun. Not bad! Alright, let's duel him. There's no way I'm losing. Oh, he's confident. Alright, let's see what his deck is about. Satellite wall. Oh. Okay, I get to start first after all. Nice. So far I'm enjoying the game so far. It's got an interesting difficulty early game. Let's act let's put magic jammer just in case because these guys love Ah, perfect. These guys love to start off the game with a spell card to destroy my cards. First turn, it never fails them, they always do it. So this time if he tries, I'll destroy it with Magic Jammer. Oh, it didn't happen. Perfect, nice protection card. Very good, very good. Okay. I'm going to use Twin Barrel Dragon so that we can make use of its coin toss effect to see if we can destroy that face down monster if I call it right. Nope. Alright, we're gonna activate Fairy Meteor Crush and we're gonna equip it to Ancient Gear Knight. That way, whenever he destroys a face down monster or a defense monster, He's gonna lose life points equal to the difference. Never mind, 2000 defense. <laughs> and it has an attack, an effect. Oh god, that's two of them. Well, he's definitely right about the wall. His deck is a defense wall. Nice. Alright, we're not going through this anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so he's a staller basically what he is. High defense monsters just stall the entire duel. I don't like this about the game, the fact that this happens. <laughs> the opponent takes forever to decide what to play and that's never been a thing. This helps. Kunai with chain. I can boost my I can boost one of my monsters with 500 attack points. This will help me get through the defense. And I can also make use of this card's effect where if I attack a monster, its attack will increase by 300. Which means I can actually destroy these two cards. Or one of them for now. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> I'm five years older than Sims. It's been around for a while. Let's 
very fun game, very entertaining. Oh my god! 2700 defense? What the fuck is that card? Why is it level 4? It's like Big Shield Gardener. Oh, that's a nice effect to make it still a level 4 monster, of course. I can draw one card each standby phase, and you get to keep a 2700 defense monster on your field. Big Shield Gardner's effect is much better than this. It flips face up. That's terrible! I can keep drawing cards, but I'm not gonna get a, enough boost to destroy that thing. Guess I'm using Kunai with Chain. Next turn, I'm destroying that thing. You crazy? <laughs> That's like having a free Labyrinth wall. I hope he doesn't have another one of those, because jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, Jerry. Alright, we're gonna flip. The oh, this is actually perfect! Ordeal of a Traveler. I can half its attack, getting a 600 attack points boost. Six hundred. 2400... 2700... I don't have to use Kunawa Chain! <laughs> wow, you calculated all that, that's nice! <laughs> that's cool! Okay, we're halving this monster's attack to increase my monster's attack. 2400, and then while it attacks... And this card is... Oh. When this card attacks, it gains another 300. So while I try attacking it, I'll use Kunai with Chain. To give it a little boost. Oh god, I played that terribly, but it's gonna work anyway. The important thing is, it's gonna get destroyed. This one is still gonna stay on the field. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna get, we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna get through his wall. I misplayed that a little bit. Yep, I remember. <laughs> Tribute one monster, and I must tribute one monster. Or... I cannot tribute anything, and I'll discard a card and negate your spell card. So you tributed a monster on your own. <laughs> well, it was hot, and then it started getting back to being chilly again. Especially at night, so I'm okay with it. As long as it's not hot. Oh boy, a sacrifice. Oh, that's a stronger card. That might be Labyrinth Wall or Millennium Shield. Let's see how it's gonna go. Oh, that sucks when that happens. 2300, 2600. I think I can finish the game with this move. I'll activate compulsory evacuation device, return his monster that he sacrificed, and then I think I might be able to win. He gets a boost. 2300. Oh wait, no, he had 8,000 life points. 
Oh god, that's a lot of rain. <laughs> and over here we want rain, but we're not getting rain. So close. 400 life points left. I did all of this in one turn. <laughs> Alright, so that monster is not gonna be on the field. Oh yeah, me too. I almost forgot for a second. <laughs> awesome! The list continues. Woo! United we stand! Awesome! One of my monsters is going to be very happy. Let's go with Twin Barrel Dragon. Of course, I like murdering zombies too. 4,900 attack points. <laughs> oh my god. I hope he doesn't activate anything. Oh, Needle Worm. No problem. I don't mind losing those cards. Oh! I don't mind. You know, I like comedy. Victory! Woo! I got through the wall. It was beautiful. Oh god, that is way too much rain. No, no way! Looks like the duel is over! I know, there's this sack of what? There's this shack just up, just up ahead. Wanna go? I mean, I wanted to go check my cards, but alright. Here it is! Come on in, ninja! No, his name is Rally. <laughs> Any player that talks to me, it shows their name. Oh, there's a save file here. Perfect. There's a lot of stuff. What's your step? Don't touch the computer on your right. There's important data on it. I'm gonna save. There's important data on the computer, huh? Let me, let me touch it. The computer is on, but it's password protected. <laughs> hey! Come on, I said not to touch it. I mean it, okay? Don't touch the computer. But I wanted to touch the computer. Wait, something happened. Huh? Has Yusei come back? Yusei! Let's step outside for a minute. <laughs> I wanted to do it again. Welcome back, you say. Hey, who's that? So this is Ninja. There's something odd about Ninja, but not in a bad way. I brought Ninja by here to become one of our friends, and now everyone's fine with it. You know, Ninja's also a duelist. I see. I'm going to take another ride. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to ride on his motorcycle. Oh hey, I got a memory. A strong jolt of lightning runs through your head. A fragment of your memory has returned. It becomes clear to me that I am also a rider, I guess. Turbo Duel, Duel Runner. Speed Counter. I have a bike! Where is the bike? Spell card, activate. Oh, my bike must be coming to me then. Hey! Are you okay, Ninja? What happened? Remember anything? Ninja checks her dual disc and a card appears from a space inside. Whoa! That's a speed spell card! Wow! So I am a card game on motorcycle kind of person. You speak to Rally about something you remembered. Oh, I guess that's what you remembered. Ninja, maybe you're a turbo duelist? If you want to know about duel runners, you should ask Yusei, who just ran off with his bike. He's a turbo duelist after all. Huh? I thought Yusei was coming, but he isn't here, eh? I could have sworn I heard the sound of his duel runner. 
Oh yeah, you did. You, you showed me the bunny. I love the bunny. It's adorable. I don't know. I feel like the bike might be coming to me. I have no idea. Or I'm gonna find my bike, but it's it said activate. So I don't know. <laughs> it would be hilarious if the bike can just ride to where I'm at. Hey, what's that? Do you have a speed spell card? How'd you ever get such a thing? Say, Nervin, if Ninja has got a speed spell card, then maybe our new pal is a Turbo Duelist too? Well, one card doesn't exactly prove it, but it does make it pretty likely. When you think about it, it's kind of rare to meet someone with a speed spell card. So I am one of those special, unique people, like you say. Now, if Ninja also had a dual runner, then we'd certainly have a Turbo Duelist on our hands. I do have a runner. Um, during my past live streams. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. So Ninja, do you remember where your dual runner is? Oh, I see. You don't know, huh? Amnesia is really a downer, huh? But hey, aren't the only turbo duelists around here either Yusei or Securities? Hmm. Wait a second. Then doesn't this mean that Ninja must have come here from the city? Oh yeah, that's gotta be right. So maybe going into the city will make that amnesia go away. But that's going to require a dual runner, so Rally, let's help Ninja go look for one. Good idea! If everyone pitches in, then we're sure to find one in no time. Let's find my dual runner! So I'm a high-ranking duelist, apparently. <laughs> a few days later... Did we get did we get me a dual runner? Also, I'm gonna go back to the computer. The computer is on but it's password protected. Rally will get angry so you should leave it alone. <laughs> that was you were trying sarcasm? <laughs> oh. Dual runners are great. I wanna get one too. Too bad about your memory. You should look for your dual runner. Hmm. Well, this is gonna go here. I mean, from the way you asked, it didn't sound like it didn't seem like you were doing sarcasm at all. That's why. <laughs> That's why I was like, I thought you were just asking a normal question. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing here. So I guess I'm gonna have to go somewhere and find... <laughs> Card games on motorcycles! Oh, who's this person? Oh, it's him! Hey, Ninja! Did he build me a dual runner? I found someone who's looking to sell a dual runner. And better yet, I think they'll part with it for a really low price. So sounds good, right? And just come with me. Well, hurry up. Alright. Let's get me a dual runner. This loser. I brought someone who wants a dual runner. This is the guy that's that said he didn't want to duel me because I'm a low life or whatever. Little as he know, I'm a city person, so he's a low life. In according to this game, you, huh? You want a duel runner? Of course, it's not free, but I can give it to you for one thousand duel points. How about it? One thousand duel points. How a coincidence that I have just that amount, almost. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, we're spending 1,000 dual points. They're easy to get, so it's fine. Okay, that wraps up our deal. You just made yourself one fine purchase. Why do I feel like it's a bad and terrible dual runner that he's gonna give me? And since I'm in a really good mood today, I'll even throw in an extra special bonus for you. Yeah, it's a shitty dual runner. You're roosting up on the subway, right? I'll just deliver the dual runner for you. So wait a bit. Well then, things turn- he stole- I think he just stole my money. 
<laughs> I know, right? You head back there. I think he stole... I think he stole my money. <laughs> I think he just stole my money. You don't make a deal with someone like that and then he says, I'm gonna deliver it to your house. Oh god. Oh, never mind. Hey, it looks actually, it looks pretty good. It's blue like my hair. An unfamiliar dual runner has been placed before you. Could this be the vehicle you bought earlier? Oh god. <laughs> What's this? This dual runner. There's something very odd about it. It doesn't work. Hey guys, has the dual runner arrived? Yeah, something shady about it. Ah, it's here! Let's have a look! Looks like it's got a pretty standard frame. And it must be from a fairly recent model year, and it looks pretty sharp. Some adjustments have been made too. I bet you'll get some real speed out of this thing. Huh? No way! Yeah, there's no engine. That, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Oh no, and no CPU either. A dual runner body is worth nothing by itself. How is it going to run? Rats, we got host. Of course we did. I knew it. Sorry, Ninja. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's my 1,000 dual points. This is completely all my fault. All because I actually trusted that dirtbag. Oh, that low life. Imagine trying to pass off such other junk. I'm going up there and speak my mind. So I guess now he's gonna want to duel me. I'm gonna I'm finally get to kick his ass now. Let's save. Kick his ass and take my duel points back. It's a cool duel runner, but it has no engine. Charge! I still want pizza now. <laughs> Blitz has been kidnapped. That that was a kidnapping? <laughs> you have to quickly go and save him. That looked like he was just walking with them. <laughs> the door is locked and you can't get inside. You hear faint voices, so Blitz has to be in there. You need to help Blitz right away. You'd better explain the situation to your friends. I like how this game gives you hints as to where you have to go next. That's a good thing, because some Yu-Gi-Oh! games don't exactly give you a sense of direction. You just do your own thing. Hey Ninja, how's it going? Blitz, what's up all of a sudden? Oh, uh, what's that now? What? That suspicious guy at the square is one of the thugs? Oh no, he was messing with him? That's not good at all. I know, right? Yeah, that too, Final Fantasy VIII. Ninja, you sure? Come on, I'll let everyone know. Oh no, we'd better go and help right away. What was Blitz thinking? So what do we do now with just us guys? I don't know if we can be any of help, if only Yusei were here. You don't need Yusei, you have me. Come on guys, we gotta do something. It's no use staying here, we gotta go help Blitz ASAP. You mean you don't care what happens to him? I'm going. Bye. Yusei ran off, so who cares? Oh look, it's this bitch. What? You've come to gripe too? Didn't I give you the dual runner? Ah, that guy. Nah, I don't know him. If you beat me, I'll tell you. Will be. Oh, now I get to beat your ass. Pretty sure of yourself, huh? Bet you're bluffing. Masterful Magician. You have magicians now? 580, so his skill is higher than anyone I've dueled so far. 
so I need to be careful. Oh, new music. Okay, beautiful start. Beautiful start. We're gonna assert dominance and strike fear into the hearts of this man with the big ass gorilla. And we're gonna activate Fairy Meteor Crush so that whenever we deal damage to defense position monsters, he will lose life points. And I'm also baiting a spell card activation. Don't you destroy my my gorilla. Oh, okay. Ooh! Chaos Command Magician, negate the effect of a monster card that targets this card. Let's get it on the field! I have a Magician too! Now I, I just hope this doesn't get destroyed. Yeah! Nice! 2400 damage. Beautiful start. We're asserting dominance. Nice music. That's it? <laughs> what do you have in your hand? Alright, let's summon the X Saber Anapalero. The female X Saber Warrior. Cool! Let's do a bunch of damage. This is gonna be a quick duel. You have a what? Oh, Dark Magic Curtain. Oh no, that's Dark Magician. Oh boy. Can I activate my enemy controller from my hand? No. My Magician! That's fine. 700 life points left. I'm just gonna activate enemy controller. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna tribute my monster to take control of his Dark Magician to destroy him. <laughs> Your Dark Magician is mine. And you just got served, bitch. Get out of here. Talking trash. Get out of here. How many dual points? Nice. 296. <laughs> this just isn't my day. Your friends are in the building. My friend is in the building. Oh. Oh, perfect. I can save here. <laughs> I know, right? Just like Dimitri. Oh, let me grab this. Ninja obtained 450 dual points. Nice! This feels like Pokemon. Hey, you! How did you get in? This is our turf. Get out! If you don't get out, I'll beat you up in a duel. I will beat you up in a duel that's gonna hurt so much it's like I beat you up in real life. Get out of here. You're gonna regret this later. I won't. Let's do it. Ida Dragons 590. I know, right? I'm gonna beat you up in a duel. <laughs> so serious. It's a card game, my friend. You can't physically beat me up in a duel. Nice. I am enjoying the music. Ooh! Buster Blader. Soul Taker. 
Let's activate Cup of Ace. If it works on my favor, I get to draw two cards. If it doesn't, he draws two cards. Damn it! <laughs> okay, Fossil Tusker. Take the stage. Okay. As long as he doesn't have Heavy Storm, I'm good. So now he has a bunch of cards in his hand. Bait Doll. Okay, okay, I'm gonna activate this before you destroy my card. There. <laughs> oh, he went back to his deck. Foolish Burial. He sent his card to the graveyard, okay. Oh no! That's a red eyes black dragon. Wow! The other guy had Dark Magician easily summoned, and you have. I am 100 attack less! Are you serious? Wow! Red eyes black dragon. I'll get rid of it. I'll destroy it. I don't mind if he gets 1,000 life points. <laughs> I know, right? I just need to get it on the field. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. It's fine, bottomless trap hole. I'm gonna remove it from play. Fuck that car. Get rid of it. Spear Dragon. Oh, oh, my trap card. Well, I just need to draw a monster and then I'm fine. Rocky start. Rocky start. Rocky start. Come on, any monster will do as long as I can summon it. Oh. Not bad. I can stall with this card. I just hope it doesn't get destroyed and then we'll be fine. Okay. I need one of my strong monsters and then I can get back into this. Red Eyes Wyvern. 1800 attack points. These guys are no pushovers, oh my goodness. If I change the battle position, I'm still not going to be strong enough to destroy that. We're stalling at this point. I'm not having good cards drawn at the moment, which is concerning. Luster Dragon, what the fuck? Wow! Such difficulty levels at the beginning of the game. Oh, okay, that's fine. He wasted that card. I don't mind. I would love to get Buster Blader on the field, but I need two monsters for that. <laughs> Which I'm still not getting, so I'm gonna have to keep paying 800 life points just to keep this piece of shit on the field. I would love to summon Buster Blader, but I need one more monster on the field. One more. It's gonna be worth it, sacrificing 8 1600 life points right now. Actually, I'm gonna sacrifice more next turn. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, United we stand. The red monster gains 800 attack for each face-up monster you control. 
Well, this just saved my ass for now. Damn. 2,000. That saved my ass. Jesus. Get rid of that one first. Okay, we can still make a comeback. I need one more monster that's strong enough to keep alive, and then I can get Buster Blader on the field. It's gonna be beautiful. Hi, Renee, how are you doing? Creature swap? No. Oh my god. He's gonna take my monster. You know what? This duel is way too risky. I thought I was gonna get Buster Blader. I'm not. I'm gonna lose if he takes my monster. I'm literally gonna lose if he's gonna if he takes my 2,000 attack points monster right now. Soul Taker. Never mind. I got destroyed anyway. All right. Okay. Wow. This game is this game is interesting. Not a good start. Okay, any 1800 monster right now can hold my life points. Of course not. Okay, not lucky, not lucky, not lucky. I'm doing good, I'm just amazed at how this game is right now. <laughs> Super early on. And it's either you have complete good luck or you have complete shit luck. And these guys have strong cards. And this is the early game, so this is surprising. <laughs> that was retarded. I'm gonna beat your ass. That was a shitty start. <laughs> yeah, it's it's unique. It's nothing like Spirit Caller, definitely. First opo first like the second story mode opponent you face, if you don't draw good, you're gonna get wrecked. The difficulty is very strong early game. It's impressive. But yeah, I just need better cards and I need to make sure that... Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have good security. Yes! Good security right there. I'm gonna use everything. For now, this is safe. He summons anything right now, it's gonna get destroyed by bottomless trap hole. I gotta beat him quick. That thing's gonna die. No, that's what else do I Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty entertaining. I like I like how so challenging it is at the beginning of the game. It's not a pushover. Oh, he protected his card. That's fine. I have Ordeal of the Traveler, which will protect me in case I get attacked. Soul Taker. My monster got destroyed. Oh well. Now we're in a tough spot again because we don't have monsters in our hand. And he does have monsters. So, let's see. Okay, perfect. The perfect monster to get. Every time it attacks, it gets 300 attack points. Okay. I think we're back on track a little bit. Ordeal of the Traveler, though. I can't activate it because I don't have any monster in my hand. Yeah, exactly. Just like Forbidden Memories, they're so much easier com in comparison. Forbidden Memories, oh my god. I'm glad I'm done with that game. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, my monster's gonna get destroyed, unfortunately. So I'm still in a predicament. 
I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that I'm not drawing these cards that I need. I need monsters. Oh, okay, this one works. I can make Luster Dragon lose 800 attack points. This is good. But next turn my monster is gonna get destroyed by something else that he's gonna summon. So I'm still in danger. But that's two copies down. He has a pretty decent dragon deck. My god. Eighteen hundred, yeah. I'm assuming he has three copies of those two cards. I'm just glad he doesn't get Red Eyes Black Chick. Alright, I'm destroying that. Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> Not today. Kunai with Chain. I don't want to keep drawing trap cards. Come on. This is just as bad as when I had bad luck with Spirit Caller. I can beat him! I just need to draw monsters! Okay, switch his battle position. Alright, so it's easy. Whatever I draw can destroy that. Oh my, anything but this. It's a level 6 monster! That would have been perfect! Oh my god. Yeah, I must still say, if you start with bad luck, it's gonna stay bad luck all fucking duel wrong. Uh, time to play the guessing game and hope they guess wrong. Don't say monster. You bitch. How the fuck do you know? <laughs> cheating, they're cheating. <laughs> How? First guess, monster. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but I would still need to draw a guy at a fierce knight <laughs> to get it. Okay, I'm back on track. 1850. I'm gonna stall just enough to get Chaos Command Magician on the field. Okay, hopefully he doesn't do anything and then I can come back. I can beat him with my current deck. Okay, come on. Don't do anything and I'm gonna be back on track. Are you serious? He took my monster. Great. So now he's gonna destroy my monster and then we're back. Uh so he's back to having one monster again. These guys are drawing all the clutch cards, I swear. Destroy that. The, every moment when I can find a way to come back, they draw the clutch card. Look at that, Birthright. Fuck that card. He was gonna bring back Luster Dragon. See that? Look at how clutch that card was, because now he has a 1850 monster, and I just drew an 1800 monster. Come on, dude. The computer has so much luck. By 50 points! You gonna guess monster again? Yeah. <laughs> That's retarded. I'm thinking Berserk Gorilla can do the trick for me. Still at 15, still 50 points. Still 50 points low. Come on. Give me the Gorilla. I could have beaten him this entire time already because he hasn't drawn a single monster card. For like the last three turns. I could have beaten him by now. Man, the clutch creature swap, I swear. I can pay 800 life points to negate this. Okay. 
god. Alright, I'm back on track again. Jesus. You better not use anything. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing good so far. So let's... What happened? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Again. I managed to somehow save myself and he has soul exchange. So I still can't get this fucking card on the field. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That is such bullshit computer luck. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Every time I had a chance to come back, they drew something to cancel that. Every fucking time. And, and the other times, they didn't draw shit until I drew what I needed to draw. The fuck? I'm gonna lose again. Unbelievable. I can beat this asshole with my current deck. I'm gonna try again. ridiculous oh you're showing off your strongest dragon 2800 oh look at that they guessed wrong oh they guessed right the clutch The computer has the best luck. <laughs> oh my god. He's not strong, he's just lucky. <laughs> Ridiculously lucky. Again. I'm gonna I'm beat you. I'm gonna beat you without getting new cards. That luck is gonna run out. long have I been streaming? Hmm, decent start. I don't like starting with four trap cards like last game. That totally messed it up for me. This is good. This is... I can work with this. Ugh. It's not safe to use this card unless I'm sure. But with this, it makes it seem like it's not losing anything to begin with. Mm. With his deck, I can't afford to use this effect anyway, so I'm just gonna summon this card. Alright, let's bait the Luster Dragon attack. That's early. He has birthright. You gotta remember that. Because he's gonna bring that back as soon as I destroy it. What is that card? Psychic Commander. Huh. 
<laughs> Alright. When this card attacks, it gains 300 attack points. So, I'm gonna save this spell card. I'm gonna save these two when I really don't have anything left. Gets a boost. Bye bye, dragon. If he has birthright, he will bring it again. Which I don't mind. I'll take care of it. I'm in a much better position this duel than the last two, for sure. Ah, alright. That's fine. Okay, let's make use of this effect. We're gonna take half of the attack of Fluster Dragon, so it's gonna have only 850. Wait, no, not 850, 950. And I'm gonna get the boost to destroy it. But I think this only lasts for this turn. I think. I don't know if it's permanently. We'll find out. Masked Dragon, okay. We're both 1400. Alright. Let's see if you're still good at the guessing game. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get to attack today. Hmm, Dust Tornado. I would love it for it to be a different card. But yeah, his monster got sent back to his hand, which is another awesome side effect of Ordeal of a Traveler. Uh, I guess I can use this as well. In case I draw Buster Blade or anything like that, I can have both on the field. And I can do damage right now. 2600 damage. Gotta take advantage. Okay, so he guessed Monster, if I remember correctly, and it was wrong. So he doesn't know what this card in my hand is. So I can still mess around with it two more times if he guesses wrong. Hunter Dragon. Ooh, 1700 attack points. Uh, do I want this destroyed? Mm. I guess this effect is faster than Ordeal of a Traveler. I can also make use of it, that way the monster goes back to his hand and I get a free crack at his life points. So let's see, if he guesses wrong, it goes back to his hand. Ah, oh, it's fine. It got cancelled anyway. Shocker? Oh! <laughs> Dark Geroid. That is actually a good card right now. He, he's gonna lose 800 attack points, making him 900 attack points, and then if that card is not something dangerous, I can beat him very soon. 
next turn, actually, I think. If things continue to go smooth. One more turn. If he doesn't have anything, I'm good. Nice dragon. Okay, no, that's fine. He already knows the spell card. That's fine. Oh, new trap card, oh god. Hmm. Well... I'm not gonna let him destroy my card because he can special summon a dragon. Ah, uh, come on, I need to draw a monster card. I should have said yes, actually. Oh god, more trap cards. <laughs> oh god, this will either have a- Oh, I can use this to destroy his face-down monster. This may have a negative effect on me, or a positive effect on me. Let's find out. Last time it didn't work for me. Ah, oh, it worked for me! Yay! I wouldn't know how to keep track of watching two live streams at the same time. <laughs> nice defensive card, definitely. Okay, so next turn he tries to attack me with this. I'll say yes, that way if he guesses wrong, his monster's gonna go to his hand and then game over. I need to draw something. Oh god, of course. See that? I needed to draw something. I didn't draw anything, and now he got a chance to come back. Jesus. It's fucking terrible. I could have beaten him again. But no, I'm still not drawing the cards that I know that I have in my deck. What the fuck does this do? I made him lose 500 attack points? Saving this for next turn. It's only 500. Ah, nice effect. 1900 defense, so that's gonna hold those two cards off until next turn. So I need to draw something right now. If I don't, I'm gonna lose again. Because my deck doesn't like me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying, but my deck doesn't want me to win, <laughs> or else I would have drawn the cards I needed. I had a perfect, perfect chance two turns ago, but no, I don't, I don't draw monsters. I'm still drawing spells and trap cards. Right now, all I can do is stall. Fourteen hundred. I 
I can keep this one as bait. Found something. I want pizza. I may have made a mistake, but let's find out if I did. Oh god! Two! Oh, this game is over. <laughs> My god. These guys have the best luck, and I have the worst luck. This is This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I would have gotten away with this if there wasn't another red eyes black dragon on the field. Right fucking now. <laughs> I mean, this is 100, so I still have something. I still kinda sorta have a way to stay in this game, but my deck needs to give me something. My deck needs to really help me out here. He has 900 life points left. Like, shit. Hysteric Fairy. To God, he guesses wrong. <laughs> Look at that luck. He knew it was a monster card! Beautiful. I'm done. There's no fucking way I can win this anymore. It would have been great if he didn't summon a second Red Eyes Black Dragon. Would have been great. Unbelievable. He was at 900 life points, and my deck was like, you're not drawing monsters to finish the duel, until he got his stuff. <laughs> Jesus, this game doesn't... this game doesn't like me. The computer has the best luck ever. I only have like seven spell cards. I that's the fucked up part. I don't have spell cards. I have like six spell cards. 
but the way this this game is making me draw shit, it makes it seem like I have a shit ton, but I don't. The trap cards are actually fine. Like, they're decent, because I cannot put more monsters. I have 20 monsters, like every other game I have 20 monsters. The game just doesn't want to make me draw the monsters. That's the problem. Every duel I lost was because the game didn't want me to draw monsters when I needed them. So I would constantly not draw the monsters I needed. That's how shitty the luck is. It makes it seem like I don't have monsters, but I fucking do. The luck is just so fucking bad. My deck is actually pretty decent. I can beat him. But just when the moment that I'm gonna beat him, something always happens. Always. It's fucked up. Like, right now I have a good position here, because I can finally get this fucking card on the field. Yeah, that's how bad luck this fucking game gives you. Birthright, that's a good that's a good trap card to get rid of. Nice. It's fucking terrible. I'm not getting that card on the field just yet. At some point. I still gotta do Nightmare Chabadur after this one. So far I've seen his trap cards. None of them cancel my attacks, so I'm good to do a good damage here. I have to beat him ridiculously fast. If he gets Red Eyes Black Dragon on the field, I have Honey Honey and I have this trap card to protect me. I'm kinda sad I can't play False Bound Kingdom. I can, but it's gonna it's so laggy, it's terrible. When I get a good computer, I'm of so share false bound kingdom. Okay, come on, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up. I don't I cannot give him a chance. To come back at all. He doesn't have tanky monsters. Oh good! Kill that bitch! Fuck that card. That's one of them down. He still has two copies of it. Fuck that easy red ass black dragon spawn. Okay, again! He has less than 1,000 life points. Literally, same fucking amount as last duel. 900. I better fucking kill him. Sick and tired of dueling this bitch. 1,800. Ah, that's fine. Try attacking me, see what happens. Wait, my trap card! Hello! Activate, thank you. I would love to. Oh, I drew a card. I didn't know I could draw a card too. That's beautiful. Okay, finally. I'm gonna overkill his ass. Fuck that guy. It hurts? Good! I'm glad it fucking hurts! Get the fuck out of my face! Could've beaten you four fucking duels ago! But no! The game is like, fuck you, you're not doing it. You're gonna draw all the bad cards so that you cannot beat him. Fuck out of my way! Get out of here! Get out of here! I'm saving. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? This computer looks broken. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, 
Dual points? Rush recklessly, not a bad card. Okay, I'm putting it in. A new card pack has been added to the shop. Oh boy. Rush recklessly, I have a nice... See that? I have only 8 spell cards. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can get rid of this. Every other card I have in my deck is the best thing I can have in my deck at the moment. Rush recklessly, where are you? You're there to save me from losing my monsters. It's a beautiful thing. How long have I been streaming? I feel like I passed two hours by now. Oh, I didn't pass two hours. Wait a minute. Yeah, I did. My laptop decided to go back an hour again. Jesus Christ. I'm almost going for three hours. Laptop, why do you always change the time and trick me? Yeah. So now it's gonna readjust. It's gonna readjust in a bit. I don't know why my laptop does that. There it is. Almost three hours. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess I can do one more duel because this is draining. But we're making progress, though. Is this broken too? Yes. I thought it was noisy, so that was you? What's that? Your friend? Yeah, he's in the back storage, but you're not getting past me. Oh boy. If you want to get through, you gotta beat me in a duel. I'm not gonna let you win so easily. Each one is more difficult than the last. I just need luck. Just like Forbidden Memories, you just need luck. 620! Oh my god. He is much stronger than the last guy. Lucky Turtle Shell. Is he tanky? Do you have tanky cards? He might have tanky cards. Oh, hey! I can get you next turn. I gotta get rid of Shield Crush. I don't need it anymore. It's been a while since I was able to Synchro Summon. I'm getting those cards out of my deck with these people. 1600. I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> okay, he's either gonna destroy my monster or one of my spell and trap cards. Oh, or negate my. Oh god, no, he's a staller. No! The one thing I hate is a stalling deck. Oh! Ooh! Okay, that, that monster is gonna get destroyed. I don't need to attack it. Bye! Bye, Felicia! Needleworm, you ass. He's a staller. 23 attack points. I'm gonna destroy that card. I'd rather not attack than have my monster switch positions. Terrible. I do. That's the only luck I have with this game, apparently. Hurry up, God! <laughs> okay, we're destroying that card. Even though it applies to both me and him, but I hate that card. From since Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Caller, I hate that card. Uh, 1850. Nice! I'm gonna tribute summon Chaos Command Magician next turn. We're pretty good setup so far. 
Uh, let's pray. He doesn't do anything strange. Okay, that's not strange. Alright. Nice backup card, okay. Beautiful, we have two super strong monsters on the field. Alright, that card is gone. Conveniently, just when he gets a monster card drawn, probably. A shallow grave. We both must bring back a monster from our graveyard and place them in defense mode. He's gonna bring back his needle worm, which is going to hurt when I destroy it. I will lose the top five cards from my deck. Nightmare Steel Cage. Never mind, I can't attack yet. Two more turns. <laughs> I gotta wait two more turns. Oh. Look at this field, though. I'm gonna have fun with Fairy Meteor Crush. I know, right? Imagine being able to actually attack. The one time I have all these good cards on the field, I can't attack. That's the, that's the next stage. Oh, my card. My cards. Please tell me they're not good cards. Please. Oh, <laughs> Berserk Gorilla. Oh god, what cards did I lose? I think that was eight cards. You ass! No! You're gonna do that again! You... He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's five cards. So, I'm gonna lose five more cards. Because he flipped his card back. Wow. I am so going to destroy you when that card goes away. Swear to God. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm gonna equip it to my Chaos Command Magician. I'm gonna fuck you up. I swear. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Please don't use any more. Let me attack, okay? It's bad enough I'm losing 10 cards. Fucking worm. <laughs> They're all monsters, too. They're monsters. No. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Where's my do do I that's one. Do, do I have... Okay, hang on. There's still hope. There's still hope. Wait, no there isn't. No there isn't. <laughs> Shit. I took out the other dust tornado copy. I... Wait, did I, did I put it... No, I took it out. Because my quote... My quote was, I don't need two of these anymore. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I have all the cards to destroy his life points. And he stalls me long enough to use this piece of shit card that I can't attack against. Because all my monsters are above 1500 attack points. Except for this one. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to attack with this one. I'm gonna take away all your attack points. And I'm gonna make it hurt. Wow. I can't attack with anything. <laughs> the one fucking duel that I have all the right monsters, now I can't fucking attack. 
Oh god. This is gonna be the beginning of a beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I didn't think I was gonna hate a Yu-Gi-Oh! game more than Forbidden Memories, but I was wrong. Even my game is shitting itself with that lag. Oh my god. It can't comprehend what's happening. It, it's allergic to its own bullshit. Jirai Gumo? Oh yeah, I have this card. I've only seen you after four duels! Where have you been? I can't attack with any of this. <sighs> okay, well, let's attack with the only card that we can attack with. Oh god, it's a second needle worm. I'm losing five more cards. How beautiful. Uh, I lost more monsters. One of them is a monster that's lower than 1500 attack points. I lost this one. Uh, that, that was gonna be another monster to help me. Oh my god, what is this? I did not- I was not prepared for this. I feel like the penalty for having Messenger of Peace on the field should be more than 100 life points. Because of how bullshit it is. <laughs> End your turn, come on, hurry up. Okay, so I'm expecting to lose 5 more cards because he probably has 3 more copies. If only I could get this on the field. Uh... I can't. <laughs> oh god. This is terrible. It's a third copy, isn't it? I can draw three cards, what? One uh, oh Buster Bl oh. He's gonna make me lose the duel by running out of cards. <laughs> if I had known, I would have used Dust Tornado on Source Revealing Light so that I could attack that one turn. Okay. Alright. Well, we, we progressed a lot. I went through how many duels? A lot of duels. So, this is a good stopping point before I lose my mind on the pl first playthrough of this game. This will help me clear the field so I can make room. I'll just clear the field. Stop making me draw cards! Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. United we stand. I can't use any of those things. I... I don't know. I have three turns to take his life points down. Oh, okay. That's that's the last thing right there. <laughs> All level four monsters cannot stay in attack position. I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Save us all the trouble. I can't attack <laughs> with anything now. Jesus, his deck is identical to that one duelist I hated in Spirit Caller because his deck was just like this. You can't attack with anything, you just get stalled until you lose. Same deck, same deck. I mean, with a pussy ass deck like that, of course you're gonna win. <laughs> pussy ass deck. Yeah, I'm gonna put my, my dust tornado back. I'm gonna put it back. You can get any spell card. 
I think. There's a lot of spell cards that I'm constantly still seeing from the first generation. Like Bottomless Trapple is one of them. I have a lot of monsters, now that I think about it, that allow me to destroy a spell or trap card on my opponent's side of the field. So I'm gonna have to bring them back. I have to build my deck in a way to counter his. So all these monsters, I gotta get rid of them. Anything that's lower than 1500. Or I have to beat him super quick at the beginning. Uh, so I need to get those monsters back. These two are perfect. I must save this for Messenger of Peace. I must save this for Level Limit Area B. Because I've seen a good part of his deck. So I'm saving these two. And I also have Magic Jammer to cancel one of them. Uh, I need a trap card that I took out of my deck. But in this case, it's gonna work perfectly. Where is it? There it is. Divine Wrath. I can negate the activation of an effect monster and destroy that monster. This is for Needle Worm. Switch opponent's spell card effect that targets one spell or trap card. No. Nah. Each time a spell card is activated, the control of that card loses 1,000 life points. Not bad, considering he has a lot. Discard one card from your hand, destroy one card on the field. Hmm, worthy sacrifice, honestly. Any card. Destroy each monster whose attack is higher than its original. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna make my deck in a way so I can just counter. Okay, let me grab those effect monsters again because I had quite a couple. Uh, let's see. Right, I forgot to use this card. I it was a new card that I got. This is gonna work perfectly for what I need. I can destroy an effect monster. All of his monsters that are face down are effect monsters. Perfect. Uh, I had a couple more. Select one trap card on the field and destroy it. No, he doesn't have too much trap cards. This card is Tribute Summon, this one one Phase Down card on the field. He will have a lot of Phase Down monsters. Awesome, Shock! Hope they turn out great! This card is Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> oh, hell no. No Morphine Jar. Cool! No bunny. No, not the mecha bunny either. I don't think I'm gonna need to use mecha bunny. No, it doesn't work. If you turn face with that monster. Nope. Cool, can't wait. Normal summon, change one defense position monster to face up attack position. Hmm. A low level card that I can use just in case. This is the one Worm Apocalypse. Destroy one spell or trap card. Nice flip effect. I'm gonna counter his deck with low 1400 attack points monsters. It's just for this duel. I'm 
Alright. We'll get rid of this, 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 that, that. Hmm. I'm not gonna need these. I'm gonna have to remake my entire deck. I'm keeping this so I can do damage. I wish I had more compulsory evacuation devices, but I don't. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay, four more monsters. Uh... cards that I could use. Ooh, 1,000 life points increase. Oh, a twister is gonna come in handy now. Destroy all face up spell or trap cards. Yep, putting you back in my deck. Okay, and normal monsters. Weak monsters. Okay. Uh, okay, this is a. Uh, much safer. This is just there to stall. I'm not gonna use it. Okay. This should do it. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm not gonna end the stream because I've been streaming for a while now. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this works. Here we go. Last duel and then we're done because oh my god, we passed three hours now <laughs> and I'm tired. Hello, Turtle Guy Or. You get to see one duel before I end the stream, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, I changed my deck. So that I have the best chance right now at beating this guy with his stall deck. Perfect! Drawing Twister is a beautiful thing. Okay. So first thing, I might take advantage of Honey Honey. This I cannot use at the moment. Although I do want to take advantage of it. Let's take advantage of our strong cards while we have the chance to. But drawing Twister first is a good thing against him. The sooner he starts with those two spell cards, the better. Okay, face down. So we're going light. Beautiful! Keep going, keep going. Use everything, thank you. Use everything. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Okay, alright. Perfect! That's a lot of them activated. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mm, I can only just try one of them though, but... This one is not gonna be a problem considering I'm waiting 
for Dust Tornado. You can only attack with one monster. I might destroy this one. First things first though, you want to stall as much as possible until I get those two trap cards and then we're good. So it may be a long duel. Our destruction, that's perfect actually. I had a bunch of strong monsters in my hand. Okay. Is he gonna flip this card back face down? Why did he activate that? Okay, let's take a look at what I lost. I hope I didn't lose a dust tornado. I did lose Twister though, but yep, I lost one of them. Oh, that sucks. 1800 monster. I have this for whenever. 1400. Change one defense wants to face up attack. Okay, not yet. I was gonna act. I, why didn't I activate Twister? Actually, I was gonna, but I was saving it for something more dangerous. Oh well. Good thing is he's only gonna draw one card at a time, so it's gonna be more beneficial. Oh. Okay, this is not the one I was looking for. If he has Nightmare Steel Cage, he's gonna use it right now. If not, then I get to do some damage to his life points a little bit. With one monster, because <laughs> of Dark Door. That's the one I was waiting for. Okay. Good thing is, all my monsters currently are below 1500 life points. So level limit area B is the one I'm gonna focus on. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta do this before my cards run out. Well, I can choose to attack with this card. Okay, let's flip it, send that card back to his hand, and do a little bit of damage. Okay. I have 17 turns to finish. I just hope I get the next Dust Tornado. He's gonna set the same card face down again. So this time I'm gonna have to attack it. Oh, okay. Kinda like stumbling. Except in whichever position the card is set on the field, it can attack. Perfect! Alright. I'm I need to destroy Dark Door so I can attack with more than one card. If not, I'm not gonna finish this duel on time. So that's gonna help me. And I have reinforcements to boost 
honey honey so that way it can do a little bit more damage anything lower than 1500 is safe for now but I have to be fast because if he activates level limit area B I'm gonna be in trouble but he can't as long as I don't destroy one of these cards uh, I hope it's not needle worm Oh, thank god. I just draw three cards though, but yeah. Can I draw a magic jammer? That would be great. We can secure the win. Nope, no magic jammer. Wait, let me check. Did I lose magic jammer? No, okay, I still have it. Okay, let's use some cards here. Yeah, Dark Door is the thing that has to go. Mm. Just don't draw level limit area B for now, and I should be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, I need magic jammer. Let's boost Honey Honey a little bit. And give it 950. It's 500. It's going to be 1450. Awesome! Still right over the edge. 1400, 1450, 800. I can do a good amount of damage right now. Ah, uh, god, I really hope he doesn't have level, level limit area B. Okay. If he doesn't, I can I can beat him within the next turn or two if he doesn't activate that card. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's just a fucking monster. He's taken too long, he would have activated it by now. Okay. That's it. <laughs> ah. I got him. I got his bitch ass. Fuck out of here. With your stall deck. I hate you. I built my own counter to your deck with the stupid noob cards that I have. Fuck out of my face. I really hate stall decks. Okay! Blast! I've got no luck. Oh, shut up. You have plenty of luck. Okay, I'm gonna put my deck back to the way it was now. Where was the save point? Because I'm gonna just take a peek. Okay, let me put my deck back to the way it was. 
Ah, jeez. Go away, go away, keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Um, keeping honey honey as well, that one as well, when it's going on. Uh, uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Keep the Psychic Tuner monster. Psychic Tuner. Do I have the other tuner? No, I gotta grab the other tuner. Oof! Jesus. Uh, I'm not gonna need this anymore. Or that. Okay, let me put my cards back. There's a gorilla. This magician. Bottomless trap hole. Enemy controller. Hysteric fairy. Duraiguma. Where was that other tuner card? This, this. That one didn't work either. See, so second word of darkness, rush recklessly. Stand. Next head cannon. And that is exactly the cards. Exactly 40. Those are all the cards I had. <laughs> I remember. Yay. Alright. Alrighty. Oof. Jesus. I didn't think I was going to spend this much time playing this game, but it's... It's interesting. I still like it. It's just wow. So much bad luck. Containers are blocking your way. They look light enough to push through. Where am I? Oh, I, I gotta push through containers? What? What the? Oh, I had to just do that, okay. Push that there. Ugh, okay. I think this has to be the final part. Oh, there he is. Is there a safe point here? Oh, dual points? A card? A card. What's a card? What, what is this card? I do what I want. <laughs> Quill Bold Hedgehog. Okay. Oh, I found him. Oh, was that it? Do I have to duel someone else or did I kill everybody? I mean, duel everybody. Ninja, you came to help? Sorry about the duel, Runner. I know it wasn't my fault and everything. Everyone's probably worried, so I'd better get back. Thanks a lot, Ninja. Oh, I pushed containers around. Apparently, that was the last person I had to duel. So I'm walking out of this place, and then saving it, and then that's it. So I guess that was the last person I had to duel. <laughs> I 
And that, bitches. Okay, so I finished this quest, I guess. Nice, I'm out of there. Now I'm gonna go up here. Oh. Ninja! Oh god, I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> Blitz, I was worried. Uh-huh, sorry, Rally. Don't do anything dangerous again. Okay, sorry. I've got to see I have got to see the Blitz's injuries. So see you later, Ninja. Yeah, see you guys later. I gotta I gotta save. I'm tired. This game has drained me out and I'm tired. <laughs> But we made good progress! I dueled a lot of people. How many duel points do I have? I already saved. Holy crap. I did. This was so totally not what I expected <laughs> getting into this game. Wow. I'm prepared for so much when I start recording episodes. <laughs> Jesus. How much do I have? 1594. And there's a new pack. Soul of the Duelist. Duels take to the next stage when higher level monsters appear. I can imagine. Okay, so I can buy a couple of new cards. Did any new opponents pop up in Free Duel for me to practice against? No? Okay, so if I need to practice, I'll just be dueling these guys to get dual points. They have... They're difficult! Look at that! 1,000! 800, 800! Their level of difficulty is much higher than those guys that I just finished beating. The toughest one was 620. Look at this! Starts off at 800. Never mind, I can't duel him yet. They're much stronger than the story mode people. What the crap? Oh my god. Wow. Jesus. But yeah. Oh my god. I thought I, I was gonna duel them earlier too. That's the funny part. Wow. Three hours, two and a half hour live stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! Introduction. Managed to get through a, a good part of the beginning story. But the game is fun. It's very fun. It's uh, it's definitely... I'm, I'm gonna have to get into the mindset of Forbidden Memories where it the game just hates you. It's all luck based and the game hates you. And I should be fine if I get into that mindset. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So yeah. This was a much longer livestream than I intended, but hey, it shows that it's a good game. I was motivated to achieve victory. <sighs> oh god. Alright. Good game, though. Good game. So, thank you to everybody that was able to stop by. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm going to be testing things out tomorrow in private to see if Dragon Age can be streamed with Streamlabs before I pick to stream it Tuesday night. And sometime next week I will begin recording the next episode of this game because officially this was just an introduction live stream, but this game I'm gonna go back to recording episodes of it because it's one of those games where you need to just record episodes of it at some point because some things become too repetitive so you need to continue progressing with the game. Um, but if I need to reach a point of the game where I have to farm dual points, I will do live streams of it, like I did with Spirit Caller, the times that I did live streams. But yeah, I'm gonna start recording episodes of it because the last episode of Forbidden Memories I'm gonna upload tomorrow, and next Thursday or Friday. Um, I'm going to do the finale live stream where I will try to beat the entire game again with the current deck that I finished the game with. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. That way, Forbidden Memory is closed, done, and Saturday I think I'll finish Minish Cap because we're, we officially made it to the last 
last part of the game where we have to get through the Dark Hyrule Castle and fight, uh, what do you call it? Fight the villain so that we can rescue Princess Zelda once again and save the world so that everybody can live happily ever after. All that crap. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Other games that I've done. I am very tired. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. But yeah, you guys have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for stopping by. It was really fun, as always, having you guys around. And take care. Until next stream. Next Tuesday. I just did. Bye. <laughs>